Alright, what's up? Charm City 187. Uh, I was just going through uh, InfoWars thing. I saw this thing about CDC warns Americans to prepare for a zombie apocalypse. Um, it says, although it may seem unbelievable, this is not a satire piece or joke. The U.S. Center for Disease Control, which has been deeply engaged in the fictions of swine flu and other so-called pandemics, is now publicly warning Americans to pre prepare for a zombie apocalypse. Uh, apocalypse. Um, all the links and shit are, and I'll just copy them and put them in the description so you can... Uh, go to the site but where do zombies uh, this guy is Ali S. Khan asked the question where do zombies come from and why do they love eating brains so much the article then goes on to suppose that zombies would take over entire countries roaming city streets eating anything living that got in their way the proliferation of this idea has led me many people to wonder how do I prepare for a zombie apocalypse? <laughs> Get as many guns as you can and fucking shoot them in the head. Or, uh, I've always been a fan of the katana sword and just cut them in half or chop their fucking head off. The CDC's zombie apocalypse article is, of course, an effort to reach a younger crowd by appealing to mainstream youth interests. Which now include anything having to do with vampires and zombies. The article actually offers a useful but rudimentary set of preparedness tips that include gathering up emergency medicine supplies, food, water, and tools. Some of the strategies include preparing all your important documents, such as your passport and birth certificate. This is obviously based on the idea that you are going to be relocated and probably end up as a refugee of some sort in a FEMA camp, no doubt. So remember to bring your birth certificate. Of course, and this is referring to Obama. Of course, if you don't actually have a birth certificate, you can always use a Photoshop to create one from a collage of random scanned documents, and no one will notice the difference these days. Not even the mainstream media. Do not defend yourself against the attacking zombies. One thing the CDC has utterly left out of its preparedness list, not surprising, is any kind of self-defense weapon. Zombie lore is rife with all kinds of weapons. Shotguns, chainsaws, flamethrowers, swords and knives, hand grenades, explosives and rockets are also prominently featured in zombie flicks. These weapons are usually what saved the movie character from being overrun by marauding zombies um let me see if I can find where this article actually came from alright here's where the original article came from CDC warns Americans to prepare for zombie apocalypse really Yeah, everything in the um, article on InfoWars is the same thing here. <laughs> I still can't believe that. Do not defend yourself against the attacking zombies. Let them bite you and kill you. How to get yourself killed. Follow the CDC. So here's the CDC's advice so far. If there's a zombie apocalypse, then according to the CDC, you're supposed to evacuate with your prescription medications and your birth certificate. Alright, number one, your prescription medications ain't going to do you no good for but 30 days. After 30 days, you're going to be out. 30 or 60 days. So, <laughs> if there's a zombie apocalypse, what if... Uh, 
that'll probably be the first thing I do. I'll go rob a fucking pharmacy and steal everything I need. I already got guns. Got everything I need. I'll just go to a pharmacy and steal whatever the fuck I need. Because it's not like they're going to be selling it. Evacuate with your prescription medications and your birth certificate. Then how into the zombie infested world without a weapon. And then somehow you're supposed to magically survive a zombie assault long enough for the CDC to come quarantine you and your neighbors because you've probably already been exposed since you were totally defenseless. Gee, is there any doubt this is a government plan? Don't protect yourself, folks. The government will save you. Grab your passport. They'll be checking your papers at police checkpoints and remember your meds. Because that will keep you docile and suggestible. But don't bring anything like a 45 caliber Glock pistol that might actually help you def to fend off zombies or a pump-action Remington 12-gauge with a couple hundred extra rounds of home defense shells. Seriously, you can't have a zombie invasion without a 12-gauge shotgun being involved, can you? Or some 40 millimeter <laughs> grenade launchers. That's how you really take out a bunch of zombies and that's how it works in Hollywood. <laughs> if you're in a city where you're not allowed to own firearms, you can always try to fight off the zombies with golf clubs. That never works out well in the zombie movies, however, just so you know. CDC has lost all credibility and now resorts to be fiction to push its propaganda. Why a zombie apocalypse may be more real than you think. <laughs> the, Amer the average American consumer is already a half zombie right now. They eat prion infected meat, they drink fluoride in the water, they get vaccinated every year with neurological irritants. I've never been vaccinated. I don't drink water. Um, well, I eat I eat meat, but I'll take one of the three. There's probably worse shit sprayed on vegetables than there's in the fucking meat. So they watch network television news. <laughs> In case y'all haven't figured it out yet, you can't trust the media. The media tells you what the fucking government wants them to tell you. And that's about the end of the article. But yeah. So according to the CDC, Americans prepare for a zombie apocalypse. I'm out.